Hello ladies and gentlemen, guess what time it is? It's time for another episode of The Cider Drinker. And on today's episode, I'm bringing to you another cheapie. This one was donated to me free from my YouTube user friend, Doom Flood. It's a bit of a sinister name, but there we go. He managed to pick this up from his local post office of all places. Today's cider is... Barnstormer Black. Now, I've seen the Aria normal Barnstormer available online, but it's been insanely expensive. And I was just thinking, hell no, I'm not paying that much money for one single can, because that's what it was. It was just a single can for about three quid. <laughs> not going to pay that much, I can tell you that. But apparently he picked this one up for very, very cheap, that's for sure. So, will the price match the taste as with other cheap can ciders out there? Is there only one way to find out? But before that, let me just give you some details on Barnstormer Black. Barnstormer Black comes in 500ml cans, which you can get in packs of fours, and I do believe you can get it in 2 litre plastic bottles as well. Although, uh, I could be wrong in there, so please correct me if I am. The alcohol percentage is 7.5% in volume, so this is some of the high-end stuff, cider, that you can get out there. It's a dry one. And price, well, apparently it's about £3.60 for four cans. So um, each can individually is about 90p. So that is pretty bloody cheap, really. There we go. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have much more information for you guys because this can has absolutely nothing on it. All it says is Barnstormer Dry Cider Served Chilled. Drink responsibly. That is literally all it says. There's no description, there's no, ooh, we use the finest apples or anything on it. All it literally has is the um, black silhouette of the plane, which I think is uh, the Barnstormer logo, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, as for that, there is absolutely no more information about this thing. So, like most other ciders, I'm actually going into this completely and utterly blind. I have not got the faintest idea what this is going to taste like. It's good, it's going to taste dry, seeing as it's a dry cider. But apart from that, I don't know. It could be great. It could be rubbish. I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get this can open. So, that's exactly what I've done. Right. Let's give this a whiff. Um, I'm getting Strongbow smells. You know how Strongbow has that, um, just that real distinct smell coming off of it from the cans. It's kind of like a mix of that and Blackthorn. It's kind of like a mix of the two together, but... Overall, it hasn't completely knocked me sideways like uh, another particular can cider did a little while back, which I won't be going into ever again. But overall, that smells pretty much like other can ciders that I've had, so... Really nothing out of the ordinary there. So... Without further ado, let me pour this into the glass. Of course, it's not going to contain natural sediment, so what's the point in pouring it slowly? After all, this is a cheap can cider. You don't expect anything like that coming off it, and if it does, then it's a bloody good can cider. Right. I can definitely smell it, that's for sure, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Here we go. Loads of bubbles, loads of carbonisation, but it is uh, pretty... Typical cider colour, really. A little bit, a um, little bit golden in colour. But apart from that, you know, pretty much typical cider, I'd say. Now then, let's give it a whiff. Strangely enough, that does actually smell rather pleasant. So, um, like I say, my my mate got it for three pounds sixty for four cans, which is like ninety p per can. That's even cheaper than Crumpton... Ooh, almost mentioned the name. Almost cheaper than that other cider that I did a while back. But, um, who knows? It, it's all about the taste, so, um... But overall, first impressions are all right. They're all right, so... As, uh, as usual, I'm not expecting miracles, but... I'm hoping it's going to at least taste as nice as it smells, so... Bottoms up. Um. Oh, that's weird. Wow, that has got a really, really weird taste. My friend said the exact same thing when he tried it. He said it had a weird taste. And I'd have to agree with him. That is a very unique and weird taste. 
I'm trying to think of how to describe this one. This one is very weird. The the initial the initial taste is very very sharp. Even before you've um, swallowed it, you get this really really sharp feeling in your mouth. That is really strange. And then um, hmm. That is just so weird. It's very dry. I'll give it that. It's a very dry cider, but there's just a strange, unique quality about it, which sets it apart from all the other dry can ciders out there. It's almost got a kind of a metallic kind of taste to it, but it's not the usual metallic taste. Like, you know, when you taste blood, it's got a real you know, a real metal, metallic taste to it. This one is... It's its just... Weird! It really is! I can't think of anything else to describe it. This is just... One of the weirdest tasting ciders I've ever had. Bizarre. I'm gonna go for a third try. Hmm. Oh, that is bizarre. That is so bizarre. It's, uh, yeah, it's it, it's just, it's just weird. It's it's full bodied. It's full bodied and very dry. I'll definitely say that. It's got a crispness to it, but it's just the taste. There's no real aftertaste to it. Although it cut, it's kind of left my mouth. This is going to sound weird, as as uh, you probably think. But it's kind of left my mouth with a kind of a fuzzy feeling about it. as Almost as though you've been, you know, you've stuffed a couple of cotton balls in your mouth. It's left a really fuzzy feeling. That's just absolutely bizarre. It's no wonder they don't put the description on it, because I don't think them themselves know exactly what this tastes like. It's... wow. This is just totally not what I was expecting, really. I was maybe expecting a Blackthorn rip-off at least, but no, this is just in its own little world, really. It's, it's almost like, you know the smell you get, or used to get, in pubs, um, that allowed smoking, or you were around smokers, and you get like that kind of secondhand smoke smell. Maybe not from uh, normal cigarettes, but from like um, like cigars or something like that. There's kind of that in the taste. That's about as close as I can get to actually giving you a description of the taste for you, because that is as that's pretty much what it tastes like. But strangely enough, it it's not bad. I never thought I'd say that, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's just really, really weird. Really weird. It doesn't stay around for long, I'll say that. It doesn't stay around. Um, as soon as you've drunk it, most of the taste does go. But like I said, you are just left with this fuzziness around your mouth. And I just don't have a clue what they've put into this, but... It's just, it's different. It's definitely different. Um, this is definitely an acquired taste, I will say that. It's um, definitely not going to be for everyone. But yeah, it's it's definitely dry, definitely crisp, full-bodied. But it doesn't linger around for too long, apart from that fuzziness. And it's just the taste. It's just the weirdest taste ever. You're either going to like it or you're going to hate it. That's for sure. So, all I can really say is... If you do see it, it's dirt cheap, 90p per can, so all I can say is really just give this a go. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's um, gassy. It's another gassy one. But yeah, that's just, that's just bizarre. Well, final verdict. So this one's going to be hard to judge, really. Because like I say, you're either going to like it or you're going to hate it, so... I'm going to have to go middle of the road and give Barnstormer Black a 5 out of 10. Um, just real mid middle of the road. I, I can't sway one way or the other. I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not. I'm thinking I am swaying on the 
more on the side of liking it, but it's really in between. Like I say, 90 people can, pick it up, try it, if you don't like it, fair dues, you've not wasted that much money on it, but um, at least it is drinkable. It is drinkable, unlike some other can ciders out there, so at least that's got a thing going for it. But uh, yeah, like I say, definitely an acquired taste. And um, I don't know, I might indulge in it again if I do see it around, although um, I do highly doubt it, this will probably be the last time I have it. Oh well, that was another very weird episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Uh, I will be back with another delicious and hopefully not so weird tasting cider for you. But until then, even though it is weird tasting and I can't quite put my finger on it, I'm going to finish me off this can of Barnstormer Black. So, take care guys. Until then, if you don't see me, you probably know what's happened to me. I've probably died of poisoning or something. Hmm.